Good morning, everyone. Okay, I think we've got everybody. It's great to see all you here. There's quite a lot of students, so it's, it's, really, it's really nice to see all you, of you here. And I'd like to welcome you to Flinders University. Um, and I would like to pay uh, my respect to uh, the Ghana people on, 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 on the land of whom we stand today. Uh, my name is Eric Bouvet. I'm the Dean Education for the College of Humanities, Arts, and Social Sciences. And a very warm welcome for me today. I'm going to take only a few seconds uh, to, to, to welcome you. And I would like to uh, say that although um, I know that most of you are not going to spend a lot of time on campus, at least this semester, you will be on campus at some stage. And we, uh, we, we welcome you, of course. Um, I would like to uh, point out that Flinders University has a range of uh, support for you and that uh, it's very important that if there's anything uh, you, you are unsure about, uh, any information you would like to have and you don't have, that you don't hesitate to contact us. So we've got um, a range of very enthusiastic staff, whether they are uh, professional staff, such as Kitty here, who is central to uh, our relationship with TAFE SA and works across uh, Flinders University and TAFE. I'm uh, sure she's a fantastic resource, and uh, I don't know whether you've already met her, but uh, don't hesitate to actually call on her if you need, if you need any help. But we do also have, uh, of course, academic staff. Uh, um, our staff uh, at the back from, from TAFE SA there, can you just wave your hands? Who are, we've been working with for, for many years and, and, and also are fantastic resources for you guys, not, not only academically, but for any support you need. Um, so that's basically it for me. I just wanted to welcome you and make sure that uh, you know that there are uh, supports available. And we're going to have a double act now from the Nick brothers, <laughs> Nick and Nick, uh, who are going to tell you a bit more about the degree. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Eric. I, I can't promise that all of us have uh, a lovely French accent like Eric, but we will try as hard as we can. Um, uh, my name is Nick Prescott. We are indeed the two Dr. Nicks. Um, uh, and I'm the course coordinator for the Bachelor of Creative Arts. So I'm here to, uh, to welcome you in, a, in the broadest sense. Um, I teach, I think I'll get to know many of you on a one-to-one -one basis, particularly the visual arts students uh, as you will take uh, one of the core, to core topics in the degree that I teach in at uh, Victoria Square. So I really look forward to meeting all of you guys uh, in the first few weeks of semester. Um, I'm also the guy whom you, you talk to if you have any particular sort of issues you need sorted out at Flinders, but we'll get to that later on. Uh, there are many resources, as Eric said, and many different people whom you go to in the first and second instance to have things sorted out. So hopefully this uh, presentation will help you get all of that information and then you can ask us individual questions outside afterwards as we break out and there's food and drink out there as well and goodie bags and things. So at the moment, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Nicholas Godfrey, who is the Teaching Program Director for Creative and Performing Arts. And he'll take us through the first bunch of uh, resources for you. Thank you, Nick. Ah. So, yes, uh, thank you, Eric and Nick, for introducing me. As the slide says, I'm the Teaching Program Director for Creative and Performing Arts. I'm also a lecturer in screen and media, and I'm going to start by giving you some general information about things at Flinders and how they work, and then I'll pass you back to Nick, who will give you some more specific information about our dual uh, award degrees. But essential sorted, things you could and perhaps should start doing today while you're here on campus. First of all, you're going to need a student ID card. Perhaps some of you already have one. If you don't, this is something you're going to need for important university tasks, such as borrowing things from the library, getting into your exams when you have them, and printing things. So you can request your ID card through Okta. Has everyone used Okta already? If you haven't used Okta yet, uh, you know the URL is okta.flinders.edu.au. This is your central dashboard through which you will conduct basic tasks, including ordering your ID card. So that's something you can do right now. 
Secondly, you're going to need to enroll in your topics. So if you haven't enrolled in your topics, semester one begins next week. We suggest you enroll as soon as possible to secure a class timetable that works for you. Keeping in mind that some classes have caps on you know, their capacity limits within a particular time. So you can enroll online through this address, students.flinders.edu.au. You can search enrolment or you can call the Enrolment Support Centre. Phone number is 1300 354 six, three, sorry, six, three, three, select option two. So keep that in mind. Can and you of course. Well, I know you're on a time schedule, so I'm going to make that more difficult for you. For you guys who are in the dual board, matching your TAFE timetable with your Flinders timetable is really important. So enrolling early every year, you know, is going to be really important and as an extent, classes can fill up. So if you need to match something with your TAFE, if you need to match something with your type tape, you'll thank you, Nick. Um, it is really important when we ask you to enrol that you do it straight away. Thank you. And if you have any questions about your enrolment, Kitty is someone who will be able to answer all of your questions and more. Textbooks. <laughs> Some of your classes may require textbooks. They're available, a list of textbooks on this student website, students.flinders.edu.au slash my course slash textbook. Now, there are many options for sourcing textbooks. Some are available to loan through the library. Again, you're going to need a student card to do that. If you're looking to purchase them, you can find them through online retailers. You can also look at Facebook groups. People tend to flip them the following year, so you might be able to find one quite cheaply secondhand through uh, Flinders Facebook groups for textbooks. Car parking. Now, this probably isn't relevant to many of you, um, given that while you're here today, we have free parking in O-Week, and I understand in first semester, many of you will not be spending too much time on campus here at Bedford Park. But at any rate, when you need to come to campus, you can go to this parking website for the information about how you purchase a permit or pay as you go with casual parking. There's also a loop bus. So a range of buses that link the campuses together from the new train station down by the Flinders Hospital up to Sturt Campus Bedford Park where we are and around to Tonsley. You'll find dotted around the campus stops for the loop bus. If you wait by one of them long enough, eventually you'll be on the loop bus, which is very exciting. And you can find information about its route at that website. Now, scholarships. There are a wide range of scholarships available to commencing students for study in this year. I'd urge you to look at the scholarships website and see which ones may be applicable to you, keeping in mind you don't need to be a top performing student to be eligible for a scholarship. So definitely look into what's available and go ahead and apply for a scholarship. Wi-Fi. Now, if you want to get online, you as a Flinders student can now connect to the Eduroome network. So when you pull up Wi-Fi that's available, connect to Eduroome, use your fan. So the example being first four letters of your surname and then four numbers, that's your fan. And then your uni password and you're online. The other thing while we're talking about being online, which I'll keep you know, I'll remind you of this, most of the communication that comes to you from the university is going to be delivered to your Flinders email address or made via announcements on your topic pages on Flow. So it's very important now you're a student that you understand it's your obligation to regularly check your email and make sure you're up to date with announcements that are coming through there. And particularly in our COVID uncertain moment, if there are announcements about variation to timetabling or variation to course delivery, that will be made known to you via your email and flow. So please do check that regularly. And now I will pass back to Nick Fresco, who will tell you some more about getting prepared. Thank you, Nick. Uh, OK, so uh, there are tours of the campus. It is a large and, uh, for many people, labyrinthine place, Flinders. Uh, there are tours during this week that leave every hour um, between 10 and 3 um, from the campus to a booth in the plaza at Bedford Park. So. The plaza, of course, is the huge um, area out there. Um, it's, uh, it's useful to get to know the campus. It is huge and uh, many buildings um, comprise, uh, it, it's comprised of many buildings. Um, it's useful to take a tour if you can. Again, many of you won't be spending a lot of time here at Bedford Park this semester, but it's useful to have, have a look around anyway if you have the chance. There is a welcome hub where uh, staff and student ambassadors, who are wonderful by the way, and I, I give them my thanks, um, 
Uh, there are a lot of people around wearing blue and yellow T-shirts and they are people who will help you with all sorts of questions, particularly directions. That's the, they're the questions they usually get. Uh, lots of people around to, um, to help you find your way and answer whatever questions you might have. Uh, at the Sturt campus, which is sort of across South Road, uh, no, no, it's not, it's down the hill. Um, Tonsley is across South Road. Um, the Sturt precinct is, uh, the, the help you can find there is located in the Sturt courtyard. That's sort of down the hill and again, you can get there on the loop bus. There's also some help um, uh, outside the medical library at Flinders Medical. Okay. Um, look on flow. As, uh, as Nick said, all of the, the crucial information that will come to you this semester and indeed throughout your degree from Flinders will go to your Flinders email address or will be through announcements on flow, which stands for Flinders Learning Online. Uh, that will come up um, in your Okta page, which Nick mentioned earlier. When you log on to Flinders, you get to your Okta page, that's where your email is, that's where Flinders Learning Online is. Each of your topics at Flinders will have a specific page in your flow topics once you're enrolled in them. Um, and uh, there's a lot of other resources there, so please make sure you familiarise yourself with that page in coming days. Now, I, I always want to say at this point, I know we're bombarding you with information right now. W email addresses, uh, websites, bus times, etc., etc. It's not as confusing as it might seem. And again, we'll be outside for half an hour after this session to answer any particular questions or worries you might have. And again, for example, uh, those of you in the dual award degrees, Kitty knows everything about enrolment templates and so on. Um, so, and you, you already know that, yes. Um, okay, uh, we want to emphasize that that help is available for you. Um, there are all sorts of support mechanisms for you here at Flinders. Uh, including health and counselling support. Um, you can access most of these resources either online or on the telephone or face-to-face. -face. Um, if you, I would add that if you uh, have a particular issue that you need to sort out some kind of problem, first of all, speak to your tutor or lecturer, then your topic coordinator, and they will be able to point you to the place you can go to get the help you need. Okay, this is uh, obviously a, a sort of rather topical and um, important uh, slide. One of the, th we used to say back in the day um, in our discu online discussion groups for various topics, coordinators tended to say, remember that we don't tolerate anything that's racist, sexist, homophobic, etc., etc. That is absolutely still the case, but of course in these times, um, cyber abuse can take many different forms. Um, Familiarise yourself with, with this stuff, have a look at the resources that are there and remember that there is absolutely no place for any kind of abuse um, here and at TAFE and uh, we have mechanisms to help you if you feel you're suffering some kind of um, uh, unpleasant unpleasantness, um, have a look at the resources there to make sure you can um, uh, stay safe online and, um, and know where to go if you need to ask questions or ask for support. Make the most of this orientation week. There is a lot going on. Um, there are also different weeks that emphasise different uh, um, resources. So keep those dates in mind. Um, and again, you will receive notifications and reminders about these through your Flinders email. Um, have a look at all the events at the, the student website. Again, everything, of course, goes through the, the website. So make sure you um, keep yourself apprised of that. There are a whole bunch of things going on this week, um, including bingo, comedy afternoons, et cetera, et cetera, quiz nights. Um, and some, some of the, having, having been to some of the quizzes and so on, they're a hell of a lot of fun. They help you um, get to know other people, get to know the place. Um, the tavern is a much frequented uh, spot for, um, uh, for chat and um, student support. Uh, also too, um, for LGBTIQ students, remember there's a queer space here, which is a safe space designed 
precisely for, um, for you. So uh, take advantage of that as well. There's a bunch of orientation videos um, about how to use Flow, how to get hold of textbooks, many of the things that we've been saying. Now, there's a lot of stuff online that will help you to, uh, to get your head around those things as well. So remember, you don't have to just remember all these websites and times and dates, as I've been saying. There's all that information is there in the video library too, with people showing you through step by step how to get hold of what you need. I sound like I'm rushing, but we do need to um, we do need to keep going. There are also mentoring programs here, which are very useful. Um, have a look at again the the um, website at the bottom there. Um, if you would like to uh, take advantage of a mentoring option um, with a student or a staff member. Um, and there's uh, a lot of info there about, about how to do that. This is something that we'd like to encourage because uh, there are people who have um, who have done the courses you've done, done the topics you've done, um, and uh, it's, it may well be useful for you to have a chat to those people at some point. Now, in finishing up, I need to emphasise the fact that because you're in the dual award degrees, you have two bunches of, of lecturers and teachers. Um, of course, whatever specialisation you're in, whether, whether it be visual arts, dance, costume, design, etc., um, of course you have your, um, your studio people at TAFE and your lecturers and teachers there. The Flinders people who, um, in my case, teach some of the core topics and, and in the cases of other staff do other things, of course we take care of things here, people at TAFE take care of things there. Remember your first port of call, as I said earlier, is the tutor or lecturer or topic coordinator for your particular topic. If you've got a, um, an issue that you need to sort out with a topic that's taught at TAFE, obviously you need to talk to someone there. The reverse is the case here. So make sure you become familiar with, with you know, go and chat to your lecturer and, and tutor. Um, get to know them. Get to know your topic coordinator. Um, those are the people who, in, the, in most cases, will be able to solve whatever problems you have in the first place. Uh, there is an Ask Flinders uh, window on the Okta page. Uh, it can help in all sorts of ways. Again, Okta, Okta, log in, look at stuff, make sure you keep up with your email, etc. cetera. Um, and this is, a, um, as far as our, our um, colleagues at TAFE, this is, these are some of the uh, things that they can help you with. And of course, You'll already know this, but we're just sort of reiterating. Um, if you have, uh, if you need to ask it for uh, an, an extension on an assignment, if you have questions about grades or anything specific to a particular topic, again, the first port of call would be tutor dash lecturer and then topic coordinator. So don't feel all at sea if you have some kind of question about the way a particular topic's run, or if you can possibly change to a different tutorial, which might or might not be possible. Um, any kind of question you have specific to a topic, talk to your lecturer tutor, talk to your topic coordinator, they will be able to solve that problem for you. Kitty wanted to say something um, finally before we adjourn out into the courtyard, so I'll pass you back to Kitty, Kitty Sutcliffe. Thank you, Nick. So, um one thing I just wanted to go on from what Nick number two just said, um, I, I will PDF this presentation and email it to you all. So don't fret if you haven't got all of those website addresses, I'll be sending that on to you. Um, Nick mentioned Ask Flinders. So if you've got a question about your Flinders stuff, go through Ask Flinders. This is a little logo on your Okta dashboard. Now this may seem like a really impersonal sort of neoliberal nightmare where you'll send a, send a message off and it will go into a void and you won't hear from anyone for months. It's really not like that. Um, so rather than emailing me personally, you go into my email, I don't know, at a guess, how many emails do you think I get an hour? <laughs> at the moment, I'm getting between 20 and 50 emails an hour. So it's very easy for your emails to get lost in my inbox. If you go through Ask Flinders, it cannot get lost. It gets logged in the system and we work really hard to make sure that you get responses to those questions as quickly as possible. And it also means it goes to the right person. So if the question's not for me, if your question's about fees or the library or something like that, it will go to the person who can answer that question. So it really is a good way for you to get the answer that you need as quickly as possible about Flinders stuff. Um, 
So, and I guess your question is, so what do I do now? So as Nick has said, come out to the courtyard, there's some food out there, chance to meet some people that maybe you haven't met before, talk to these guys, or if you're a fashion or costume student and you don't understand your timetable yet, you're not alone there. I don't understand your timetable either. They're really difficult to read. But Vicky and Helen are here from the Fashion and Costume Program, so who you probably both know, but they've got their hands up now. Go and find them and they can help you with your timetable questions. Um, Go down to the hub, join a club. There is a costume club, so if you're a costume student, you should join that club. There's not a fashion club yet, but maybe you'd like to start one. Um, FUSA, which is the Flinders University Student Association, go and find them. They have a whole heap of resources, um, financial, social, all sorts of things that you can, they can help you with. You should know about that. If you're a visual arts student, absolutely, but everyone should go and visit the Flinders University Museum Art, Art FUMA, which you come out here hang a right and it's just around the corner, there's a gallery there. So visual arts students absolutely should go and find that space, but everyone should go and have a look. What's the exhibition they've got on at the moment? I should know this, but I don't. I should too. Sorry? It should, so it should be Ray Harris. So go and have a look. Um, there, is, there, there are some art activities going on in the hub. Yeah, go and find the tavern, particularly if you're over 18. They do excellent burgers if you're not over 18. Um, they really do. I spend a lot of time there. Um, but that's kind of it. So there will be a chance to ask questions outside, but does anyone have anything they want to ask that they think everyone else will want to know the answer to as well? Go. Have fun. Eat something.